okay now let's look at part a question number 10 of combined mathematics 2024 level paper so this is the trigonometric question right so first we need to show an identity then use it to solve an trig equation so first let's show this identity so we'll start with the side with the more terms so that is the left hand side term <coughs> so we start with <coughs> left hand side so then we'll take cot theta out and take the common denominator and we'll get 1 minus sine theta plus 1 plus sine theta over 1 plus sine theta times 1 minus sine theta now let's simplify sine theta minus sine theta cancel you get cot theta 2 times cot theta on the bottom you have 1 minus sine square theta so that is 2 cot theta what is 1 minus sine square that is cos square theta right so we need to show 4 cosec 2 theta so let's write cot in terms of sine so we have 2 cos square theta then cot theta is what cot theta is cos theta over sine theta so again simplify you can cancel one cos term so we'll have now what we now have 2 cos theta sine theta we want 4 cosec 2 theta or 4 over sine 2 theta so multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 so now we have the required result 4 over sine 2 theta or 4 times cosec 2 theta so that is the right hand side so first part is done we have shown that cot theta plus sorry cot theta over 1 plus sine theta plus cot theta over 1 minus sine theta is equal to 4 cosec 2 theta so now we will use that to solve this trigonometric equation so for left hand side we can replace it by 4 cosec 2 theta so 4 cosec 2 theta is equal to 8 cos 2 theta will cancel the 4 and 8 and here we have 2 so we have cosec 2 theta which is 1 over sin 2 theta is equal to 2 cos 2 theta or 2 sin 2 theta cos 2 theta is equal to 1 or sin 4 theta is equal to 1 using the double angle this is 1 is when sin is pi over 2 so we will write down the general solution 4 theta is what n pi plus minus 1 to the n pi over 2 so then theta is equal to n pi over 4 plus minus 1 to the n pi over 8 where n belongs to an integer so that is the general solution of the given trigonometric equation right so that is question number 10 answer right